Hello, dear friends. My name is Veronika Alexandrovna, and today I'll teach you English. For our lesson, you will need your student's book, English 9. Look at the name of the lesson. Are you addicted to the internet? Stop the video and answer the questions. Is being addicted healthy? What should other people do when their friends or relatives are internet addicts? You have three minutes. Today, in the lesson, we will discuss the problem of internet addiction and learn to give advice on using the internet. Stop the video and read the joke below. Do you agree with the arguments? Read exercise 1a on page 228. The top five reasons why the television is better than the World Wide Web. 5. It doesn't take five minutes to build the picture when you change the TV channels. 4. The family never argues over which website to visit this evening. 3. A remote control has fewer buttons than a keyboard. 2. The news program never slows down when a lot of people tune in. 1. You can't surf the web from a couch with a fizzy drink in one hand and a packet of crisps in the other. You have 5 minutes. Stop the video, you need exercise 1b on page 229. What do you spend more time on? Watching TV or surfing the net? Do you know someone who is addicted to the internet? Pay attention to the word building. An addict, addicted, an addiction. You have five minutes. Stop the video, do the quiz. You have six minutes. Now, use the comments below to score yourself. Are you an internet addict? Give yourself zero points for each A response. 5 for each B and 10 for each C. If you scored 100 or higher, unplug your computer and get more hours in real life. If you scored between 31 and 99, you are living a good mix of net and reality. If you scored under 30, you probably didn't read this far. So today we are going to discuss complex sentences. Read the sentences below and answer the questions. Are they simple or complex sentences? What number of clauses do they consist of? Which of the sentences above contains an adverbial clause of time and which an adverbial clause of condition? You have five minutes. Сегодня мы разберем сложно подчиненные предложения. Предложение – это сочетание слов, выражающее законченную мысль. Например, email is gradually replacing snail mail. Электронная почта постепенно заменяет обычную почту. По составу предложения бывают простыми или сложными. Простые предложения можно разбить на две группы – распространенные и нераспространенные. Сложные предложения делятся на сложно сочиненные compound sentences и сложно подчиненные complex sentences. Сложно сочиненное предложение имеет в своем составе два и более равноправных простых предложения clauses. 
В сложно сочиненном предложении, составляющие его простые предложения, равноправны по смыслу и связаны с сочинительными союзами and и but но while whereas а в то время как or или otherwise иначе either or или или Lady was the lingua franca of the Roman Empire, and it helped people of different nationalities to communicate with each other. Латинский язык был языком межнационального общения в Римской империи, и он помог людям разных народов поддерживать отношения друг с другом. Сложно подчиненное предложение состоит из главного the principal or main clause и одного или нескольких придаточных предложений subordinate clause. Поясняющий главное предложение. Придаточные предложения выполняют роль различных членов предложения. Подлежащего – subject, именной части сказуемого – predicative, дополнение – object, определение – attributive, обстоятельство – adverbial. Придаточные предложения дополнительные – object subordinate clauses, которые присоединяются к главному предложению с помощью союзов – that, if, whether – What, who, which, where, how, why. Например, I don't know where the contradiction lies. Я не знаю, где лежит противоречие. Придаточные предложения определительные. Attributive subordinate clauses. Которые присоединяются к главному предложению с помощью таких союзов и наречий, как who, который, whose, чей, which, that, который, where, где, why, почему. Например, here is the gadget that or which we have spoken about. Вот приспособление, о котором мы говорили. Эти предложения могут соединяться с главным предложением бессоюзным. Например, English is the subject I like best. Английский язык – это предмет, который я люблю больше всего. The mobile phone is the means of communication. I use the most. Мобильный телефон – это средство связи, которым я пользуюсь больше всего. Придаточные предложения, обстоятельственные, времени, место, причины, образа действия, следствия, уступительные, цели, условия. And variable subordinate clauses of time, place, cause, manner, result, concession, purpose, condition, которые имеют свою собственную классификацию. Let's practice. Use who, which, whose, that, where, when to finish the sentences. Stop the video. You have eight minutes. Let's check the answers. Teens who spend a lot of time on the internet might become addicted to it. 2. Virtual reality, which occupies more and more of our space and time, can turn into a real disaster. 3. The time when mobile phones entered people's life changed it completely. 4. You have brought a computer which is very old and slow. 5. The methods which or that parents use to distract their children from the computer are often inefficient. 6. The boy whose photo you see on my laptop is my elder brother. 7. I don't remember where I have put my mobile phone. 8. My mother doesn't remember the password that or which she used for registering on this site. 9. I couldn't imagine what he was so much attracted by on the TV screen. 10. It was my little sister who had dropped my ebook on the floor and broke it. Stop the video and do exercise 3a on page 231. Read the advice to internet addicts, which is the best piece of advice. 
If you are addicted to the internet, you should consult a doctor and have talk therapy. You will have to take some special medicine, which is used to stop kleptomania or gambling addiction. You can take up some hobbies such as cycling or reading. Talk to your parents. Ask a friend or a family member to put on parental controls on your computer. It will block the websites you spend most time on or you will be unable to use your computer during certain hours of the day. You have five minutes. Stop the video and write your advice to an internet addict. You need exercise 3b on page 231. When you are ready, send your advice to your teacher. You have 10 minutes. Thank you for the lesson. Goodbye.